Hello friends and uh, welcome. Today it will be an episode about the design evolution of the Pelican German brand of fountain pens between uh, 1931 and 1997. In this video I will use uh, fountain pens from uh, my collection that uh, were um, launched in this time interval. So between 1931 and 1997. The first piston filler was launched in, in Germany by the Pelican in 1929. But this model, it is a Pelican 100 black from 1931. It is a piston filler, so you turn the piston and um, it has a transparent ink window, which is um, an interesting trait of the Pelican fountain pens. You can see that some parts were made out of celluloid, black celluloid, and some parts were made out of hard rubber. The parts that were made out of hard rubber have this brownish patina including the cap of this fountain pen. An interesting, interesting element. Here, I hope you can see, we have the logo with the four cheeks. So we have one cheek, two, and the other two right there. Let's put it in the light, yes. So you can see the logo with the four cheeks. Also an interesting design of the clip. We don't have the eyes and the beak, but we have the shape of the pelican. And uh, two gold rings at the end of the cap. This is the Pelican 100 black from 1931. We continue with um, the 100N. N stands for new and it was an improvement of the old 100 model. You can see the same piston. This uh, particular uh, model, it is uh, the green marble version. The capam screws, we can see the piston here and uh, a transparent ink window. The clip, it is in the same shape as the 100 model but it has uh, those lines, so we don't see the eyes and the beak of the pelican, but the shape is the same. Here we have um, not two gold rings, but one um, striped ring. And interesting, this model, it's, um, I believe it is from the late 40s. And you can see that the logo we have the mother, but only with two chicks. This is the Pelican 100N from the end of the 1940s. And now we will see a design from the 1950s. It comes in this original card box made in Germany, Pelican F, we have also the sticker. Bear in mind that this, um, this cardboard box is from the end of its production. So it's from the 1960s. And of course we are, we are talking about the Pelican 140. This was produced between 1952 and 1965. And I believe that we have here a version from 1954. 
in this beautiful um, dark green. This is my little gruner. And um, it also comes with um, some instructions of um, how to fill the fountain pen. The fact that uh, you can go uh, with the fountain pen on the planes. Let's see, the plane here. So interesting, interesting, cool information about um, the Pelican product. Uh, let's look at this model. So this is the classic torpedo shape or cigar shape of the 1950s. It uh, resembles uh, all the German pens from that period, including the Meisterstück line from Mont Blanc. Let's look. Um, it is also a piston filler. Also the ink window, the transparent ink window. And this time we have the classic pelican. You have the eyes and the beak. Beautifully, beautifully gold plated. And look at the plating. An old vintage fountain pen. At the end of the cap we have Germany and the Pelican 140. Now I will try to show you the logo. It is the mother with only two cheeks. You can see it imprinted on the top of the dome cap. Let's leave aside this beautiful model from the 1950s and we go to the 1960s we have this uh, beautiful metallic box and it contains a rather nice model a beautiful beautiful model This is the Pelican M30. It was produced between 1965 and 1970s. And I believe that this um, piece from my collection is from 1966. You see that the end is flattened. Also, the end of the cap so you can see that the big difference between the torpedo shape of the 1950s and the design evolution of the 1960s this is a much more modern um, fountain pen this was a classic this is a, a modern interpretation of it Even the famous clip, it doesn't resemble the old clips um, and has nothing to do with the, the beak of the pelican. Indeed, we have a beautiful, beautiful roll gold cap, which is um, like, like a gold plating, but uh, a more qualitative one. The layer of gold is much more thick. And you can see no no loose of plating, no cracks over all this time. Remember, this is a fountain pen from 1966. So it's been a while. Again, the logo of the Pelican with only two cheeks. Okay. I forgot to tell you, this is also a piston filler. It has a um, friction cap and it also has an ink window. I think this is inked so you can't see it, but it's right here. And of course, we have a semi hooded nib. The other models had an open nib. 
I know that I said that this, that this is the evolution of the fountain pens, but I also have from the same period a rather nice example of the material that uh, was used by Pelican. They named it Silvexa. So you have here Silvexa. If we look at the clip of the M40, you can see that there is the same shape of clip. Bear in mind, this is not a fountain pen, but a ballpoint pen. But I wanted to show you the design, the simple design. And the beautiful, beautiful material called Silvexa is not silver. It's an alloy that contains silver, which Pelican called Silvexa. Also, this model comes with um, a cap made out of this material. I also wanted to show you the beautiful, beautiful logo that this pen has on the top of the cap. And you can see the mother with the two chicks. Let's put this aside and let's move on to the 1980s. And this is the model from 1983. It's quite similar to the Pelicano line, but it's not a Pelicano. This is called the Steno P470 and it is the version from 1983. This particular fountain pen was produced uh, for the first time in the 1973 and uh, it had this version in 1983, it had another version in 89, in 1996 and a version of the 2000s. This is a quite simple fountain pen. It is um, an affordable fountain pen made for, for students. You can see the design of the 1960s, but um, in comparison, we are talking about two different classes. This is a, um, from the 1960s, it is a luxury fountain pen with a beautiful roll gold cap. And this is a plain cap. You can see it is a steel cap, a nicely made cap, but um, also a friction fit, but another system. This uses cartilages. So for the first time with uh, the cartilage system, you can insert it here. It has um, also a small ink window. Mm, this is an open nib. It is in a semi-hooded nib. And it has a nice matching uh, with the same color of the body logo. The same mother with the two cheeks. Of course, the clip, you can see no relation to the beak of a pelican. It has the name of the model, Steno, and the back of the barrel it has imprinted in plastic Germany, as you can see. Okay, we move on, and this time I have for you an iconic iconic fountain pen. First launch in 1987. This is the famous M800 from the Sovereign line of luxury Pelican products. This is a beautiful, beautiful example of a classic fountain pen. Let's take, let's go back to the 19, at the end of the 1940s. You can see similar elements, design elements, and even to the 1930s, but also the 1950s. 
and I want to show you the similarity of the clip. You can see the clip from a model from 1954 and we can see the clip from this model from 1987. Amazing attention to details. This is the classic Pelican. So when we talk about modern Pelicans, I have this fountain pen in mind with these green uh, stripes, with the, the beautiful, beautiful gold trimmings. It is a beautiful example. This particular model is a Pelican. You can see on the thickest ring on the end of the clip, we have West Germany. So this was produced before the unification of the Germany, before the fall of the Berlin Wall. It has this beautiful trimming at the, uh, this beautiful plaque at the end of the barrel. So another element that tells us that this is an early fountain pen. I think it's from 1987, but they also did the same version in 1988. I want to show you the beautiful, this is um, the beautiful, beautiful logo. This is not an imprinted logo, but instead is made out of a plaque similar to the one at the end of the barrel in which is imprinted the mother pelican with her two chicks. Beautiful, beautiful gold trimmings. After all this time, for more than 20 years, you can see that the trimmings are in excellent, excellent shape. The only problem that I had with this model, it had here at the end of the section grip, a ring which was uh, gold plated but that ring in time was affected by, uh, for, um, because the acidity of the ink unfortunately the person who owned this fountain pen left it for a period of time uncleaned and simply the ring corroded and when I got it it simply fell apart but a beautiful design you can see in the light the piston turning uh, mechanism let's see how it works beautiful 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 fountain pen you can see the brass element here and I wanted to show you another interesting uh, thing and a beautiful thing, the 14 karat gold nib. After 1988, all the Pelican M800 were made with the 14 karat gold nib, with 18 karat gold nib. This is the 14 karat gold nib. It is a broad nib. Another interesting element is the fact that you can simply rotate this part this section and you can reach the barrel and um, also you can swipe the nib this is an interesting feature because you don't need special tools for me this is the modern luxury pelican Let's put this beautiful, beautiful uh, Pelican aside and let's move on to a more affordable line from Pelicans from the beginning of the 1990s. It comes in this um, beautiful metallic box and it's a set formed by a ballpoint and a fountain pen. They are beautifully matched, the same design. This is plastic, but they also have some metallic trimmings at the end of the cap and at the end of the barrel of the fountain pen. Let's uh, leave the ballpoint pen aside. Okay. 
and we will look at the affordable pelican we have a shiny clip um, no beak of pelican or only germany on the end of it so i think it's a fountain pen made after the unifications after the fall of the berlin wall we have pelican it is just painted not imprinted the logo with the two cheeks i hope you can see them because they are very tiny and another pelican of course you can see some chippings of the paint that um, the plastic is painted this is surpri surprisingly a very very good fountain pen of course not a piston filler and not a gold nib it's a plain steel nib but a very very good writer so a simple design from the beginning of the 1990s and finally we have the end this is also a um, fountain pen from the m series this time we have an um, m150 and i think this fountain pen is from 1997 and why do i say that thing so you remember the pelican m800 in 1997 all the fountain pens have this top which is not imprinted but painted interesting we have the mother with only one cheek you can see it so this um, makes me think that this fountain pen was produced after 1997 the same beautiful clip the eyes and the beak of the pelican one ring germany and pelican imprinted on it okay the same twist cap a steel nib it wasn't at one time it was gold plated but um, the plating faded away this is uh, a well used fountain pen of course piston filler with a nice ink window i hope you can see it yes you can see i think it has some ink in it this is the classic schwarz classic black with gold trimmings and this is the last fountain pen from um, this analysis of the design evolution of the pelican so just look from 1931 to 1997 apart from the materials used we have the same piston filler the same ink window almost the same logo and look at the shape of the clip so um pelican i think you did a great job of uh, respecting the history of the brand and um, simply when you buy a pelican you buy a classic workhorse there's no doubt about it the beautiful beautiful pelican of course when you say german fountain pen you think about mont blanc and pelican but we all know the price of a pelican and uh, in my opinion i think that the pelicans are priced fairly in comparison with other producers 
This was my short analysis of some fountain pens from my collection that uh, were produced uh, between 1931 and 1997. If you have suggestions or um, if you don't agree with some of my uh, findings, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you like this uh, video, please subscribe and uh, tell your friends to subscribe. I will try to upload more interesting material for you. And uh, also I will try to add uh, new and exciting vintage fountain pens in my collection. And we will talk um, about them together. And we will find interesting, interesting elements in their history. And um, also we will use them because um, I believe that you have to use your fountain pens. They have their own stories, but you also have your own story. And uh, believe me, writing with a vintage fountain pen, it, uh, it is a great, great feeling, a great sensation, apart from the quality of the product. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I wish you a good day and see you again in the next episode. Bye-bye.